Good morning, everyone, and happy TGIF Day, May 20th, 2022. I'm in the Portals of Prayer from 2022. And the first um, homework assignment is to read Ephesians 2, verses 11 through 22. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. By now in Christ Jesus ye, who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath mo made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the anonymity even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For though him for through him we both have access but one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fittily framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for a habitation of God, through the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The next reading is Psalm 67. I've got that page marked. Got to handle this with kid gloves anymore. It's all. <laughs> wow. Might have to go get another one. I'm put this aside. To the chief musician on Neganoth, a psalm or song. God be merciful unto us. Got this little fan here. It's so nice, but kind of covering it up. I'm going to start all over. And God be mercy, merciful upon unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Salah. You know, I got to tell you, ever since I've had, I had those blood clots in my brain two years ago. And then I tested positive for all three of those again, like Monday. My my speech gets impaired. It's doing something. It's it's in my thalamus. Um, I don't I don't remember which one, um, but it's it's affecting my speech, and it's it's insane and it's hard. It's really hard on me, but I muster through it. That thy way may be known upon earth thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee. O oh God, let all the people praise thee. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Salah. Let the people praise thee, O oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one, and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. Ephesians 2, verse 14. Today's title is Peace Through Christ. What keeps you from getting along with others? In Paul's day, there was a five-foot wall at the temple to keep the Gentiles apart from the Jews. It represented circumcision and all the Jewish laws that divided Jews from the Gentiles. It triggered great hostility. Sin produces similar hostility today between the sexes, ethnic groups, and socioeconomic classes. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He went to the cross to break down the walls that divide us. He broke down the walls between us and God and has forgive our sins. He broke down the wall between Jew and Gentile by fulfilling the law for us. 
He binds us together as one holy Christian church, forgiving sins and uniting us to be his living temple today. Wow, that breeze feels wonderful. At Holy Communion, people from all walks of life, all races, and all languages, both male and female, come to the altar to receive Christ's body and blood. It is a precious foretaste of the congregation before the throne of God in heaven, where all God's people will be reunited in eternal peace. Revelation 7, verse 9. Lord Jesus, thank you for going to the cross to break down the walls of division that sin built. Unite us to yourselves and to one another so that we might be your true church. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed those devotions. I've got to get back on my Bible reading because I have fallen a little behind on some and I'm ahead on others. So I'm kind of, I'm going to say I'm kind of equal maybe, but I'll catch up and go. I'm going to stay, stay with the program then and just add it on every day. So I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Spread love, not war. Let's unite this world in love. It's not hard. It's so easy. So stay tuned. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.